Just had your gallbladder removed and wondering what to eat now? Feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the conflicting advice out there? Well, don't worry, we've got your covered. Today's video is your ultimate guide to the 12 foods to approach with caution after gallbladder removal. We'll break down exactly why certain foods can be trouble for your newly adjusted digestive system, and more importantly, we'll give some delicious and healthy alternatives to keep your taste buds happy. So grab a pen and paper, or better yet, hit that like button and subscribe for more informative and delicious health content. Let's dive in. Following gallbladder removal cholecystectomy, your digestive system adjusts to a new normal. While you can still enjoy a delicious and varied diet, certain foods can put a strain on your system and potentially trigger discomfort. Here are 12 foods to approach with caution after gallbladder surgery. 1. Greasy and fried foods The unwelcome guests in your digestive party imagine your digestive system as a bustling restaurant kitchen. Bile, produced by your liver, acts like a powerful degreaser, helping break down the fat in your food. Your gallbladder used to be the designated storage container for this concentrated bile, ensuring it was readily available when needed. Now, with your gallbladder gone, your liver produces bile continuously, but at a less concentrated level. This is where greasy and fried foods come in as unwelcome guests. Packed with saturated and unhealthy fats, these foods require a significant amount of bile to break down effectively. The digestive disarray overworked enzymes, without the concentrated bile punch, your digestive enzymes have to work harder to break down the fat. This can lead to a feeling of sluggishness and indigestion. Fatty invaders, undigested fats can irritate the lining of your intestines, causing discomfort and potentially leading to diarrhea. Bloating bonanza, the struggle to break down fat can lead to gas buildup in your intestines, resulting in uncomfortable bloating. 2. Spicy foods, the digestive tract tango gone wrong spicy foods, while delicious, contain compounds called capsaicinoids that can irritate the lining of your digestive tract. This irritation can trigger. This irritation can trigger. A burning sensation, capsaicinoids activate pain receptors in your digestive tract, leading to a burning sensation especially after surgery when your digestive system might be more sensitive. Increased gut movements, spicy foods can stimulate the muscles in your intestines, leading to cramping, diarrhea, or both. Remember, not everyone experiences the same level of sensitivity to spicy foods after gallbladder removal. However, it's wise to start with small amounts and see how your body reacts. 3. Processed meats A triple threat to digestive comfort processed meats like hot dogs, sausages, and deli meats often have a triple threat lurking within. High fat content Similar to greasy and fried foods, the high fat content in processed meats can overwhelm your digestive system without the concentrated bile of your gallbladder. Sodium overload Processed meats are typically loaded with sodium, which can draw water into your intestines, leading to bloating and discomfort. Preservative Parade Preservatives used in processed meats might irritate your digestive tract, especially in the recovery period after surgery. 4. Refined carbohydrates, a blood sugar roller coaster in digestive drag. Refined carbohydrates, like white bread, pastries, sugary cereals, and cakes, are quickly broken down into simple sugars by your body. This rapid rise in blood sugar can lead to a cascade of events that disrupt digestion. Insulin spike The surge in blood sugar triggers the release of insulin, a hormone that helps your cells absorb glucose sugar from the bloodstream. However, this rapid influx of sugar can overwhelm your body's ability to handle it effectively. Energy Crash After the initial sugar high, your blood sugar levels can plummet, leading to fatigue, cravings for more sugar, and a feeling of sluggishness. Digestive distress, refined carbohydrates often lack fiber, which plays a crucial role in slowing down digestion and promoting smooth gut movement. This lack of fiber can lead to constipation or diarrhea. The whole grain advantage, whole grains, like brown rice, quinoa, and whole wheat bread, offer a clear advantage. 5. Cruciferous vegetables, nutrient powerhouses with a gassy downside cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts are nutritional champions, brimming with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. However, they also contain a group of complex sugars called raffinose and stachyose. The gassy culprits, here's where things get a little gassy, limited digestive enzymes, herbities don't have the enzymes needed to break down these complex sugars in the small intestine. Bacterial fermentation, the undigested sugars travel to the large intestine, where gut bacteria get to work fermenting them, 
This fermentation process produces gas, which can cause bloating, cramps, and discomfort, especially after gallbladder removal when your digestive system might be more sensitive. Taming the gassy trio Gradual introduction Introduce cruciferous vegetables gradually to allow your gut bacteria to adjust and potentially increase their enzyme production for these complex sugars. Cooking matters, cooking methods like steaming or roasting can help break down some of the complex sugars in these vegetables, making them easier to digest. Soaking or sprouting beans and lentils can also help reduce their gas-producing potential. Six legumes protein powerhouses with a hidden challenge beans and lentils are fantastic sources of plant-based protein and fiber, making them a valuable addition to any diet. However, they also contain complex sugars similar to those found in cruciferous vegetables, leading to potential gas and bloating. The fiber-factored fiber, while essential for gut health, can also contribute to gas production as it ferments in the large intestine. This can be particularly noticeable after gallbladder removal when your bile flow might be less efficient. Strategies for a smoother legume experience Start slow, begin with smaller portions of beans and lentils to allow your gut bacteria to adapt. The soaking and simmering symphony, soaking beans and lentils overnight followed by slow simmering can help break down some of the complex sugars and make them more digestible. 7 Carbonated Beverages, the fizzy foe of digestive comfort The satisfying fizz and sodas, seltzers, and other carbonated drinks can be a delightful experience, but after gallbladder removal, it can turn into a digestive foe. Here's why the gas bubble bonanza carbonated beverages are infused with carbon dioxide gas, which creates the familiar fizz. When you consume these drinks, the gas bubbles travel to your stomach and intestines. Without the concentrated bile of your gallbladder to aid digestion, these gas bubbles can become trapped, leading to uncomfortable bloating and distension. The pressure play, the presence of excess gas can put pressure on your stomach and intestines, causing a feeling of fullness and tightness, even if you haven't eaten a large amount. The belching blues as your body tries to expel the trapped gas, you might experience an increase in belching. While this can bring some temporary relief, it's not an ideal solution. Hydration heroes water, herbal teas, and diluted fruit juices are excellent alternatives. They keep you hydrated without introducing the gas-induced discomfort of carbonated beverages. 8. Alcohol. A double whammy for your digestive system Alcohol can be a double whammy for your digestive system after gallbladder removal. Irritable tract tango alcohol is a known irritant to the digestive tract lining. The liver's extra burden, your liver plays a crucial role in metabolizing breaking down alcohol. After gallbladder removal, your liver might already be working harder to compensate for the missing bile storage function. Adding alcohol to the mix further strains your liver and can potentially lead to digestive issues, moderation, or abstinence. The best approach to alcohol consumption after gallbladder removal depends on your individual tolerance and health condition. It's wise to consult your doctor about the appropriate level of alcohol intake or even consider abstaining altogether to minimize digestive disturbances. 9 eggs especially yolk the cholesterol conundrum eggs are a versatile and nutritious food source packed with protein and essential vitamins this can be a concern for some individuals especially those who are already prone to gallstones cholesterol imbalance if you had gallstones due to high cholesterol levels in your bile consuming excessive dietary cholesterol from egg yolks might further tip the balance potentially increasing the risk of future stone formation Digestive slowdown without the concentrated bile of your gallbladder, digesting the fat in egg yolks can be more challenging. This can lead to feelings of sluggishness, indigestion, or even diarrhea. The yolk or the whole egg. The key here is moderation. Discuss appropriate egg intake with your doctor, keeping your individual needs and health history in mind. You might opt for egg whites, which are virtually cholesterol-free, or enjoy whole eggs in moderation as part of a balanced diet. 10 Full-Fat Dairy Products The high-fat hurdle whole milk, cream cheese, and other full-fat dairy products are packed with nutrients like calcium and protein, but their high-fat content can be a hurdle for digestion. After gallbladder removal, the bile bottleneck, remember, your missing gallbladder means less concentrated bile available for fat breakdown. The high-fat content in full-fat dairy products overwhelms your digestive system, leading to sluggish digestion without sufficient bile to break down fat efficiently your digestive system struggles, causing a feeling of heaviness or indigestion. Potential for discomfort Undigested fats can irritate your intestines, leading to bloating, gas, and even diarrhea. Choosing your dairy wisely. 
Unfortunately, you don't have to eliminate dairy altogether. Opt for low-fat or non-fat dairy alternatives. These provide the same essential nutrients like calcium and protein, but with a significantly reduced fat content, making them easier for your digestive system to handle. 11. Coffee the bile booster and potential discomfort trigger coffee the beloved morning beverage can have a complex relationship with digestion after gallbladder removal the bile surge coffee can stimulate the release of bile from your liver while this might seem beneficial the sudden surge of bile especially in the initial recovery period can trigger discomfort in some individuals this discomfort can manifest as abdominal cramps the release of bile can cause contractions in your gallbladder area, even though it's no longer there, leading to cramping sensations. Heartburn or indigestion, the increased bile flow might irritate the lining of your stomach, causing heartburn or indigestion. Navigating your relationship with coffee can be a balancing act, but finding your coffee equilibrium is key to enjoying this beloved beverage while supporting your digestive health. The secret, listening to your body and making adjustments as needed. If coffee agrees with you and doesn't cause any digestive discomfort, there's no need to bid farewell to your morning brew entirely. Instead, moderation is key. However, if you find yourself experiencing digestive issues after indulging in your favorite cup of joe, it's essential to explore alternative approaches. Here are some strategies to consider. Reducing intake start by scaling back on your coffee consumption and observe how your body responds. Sometimes, simply lowering the amount of coffee you drink can make a significant difference in alleviating digestive discomfort. Switching the timed experiment with drinking coffee after a meal rather than on an empty stomach. Consuming coffee alongside food can help buffer its effects on bile release, potentially reducing the likelihood of digestive distress. Exploring decaf or herbal alternatives. If traditional coffee continues to pose challenges, consider exploring alternatives such as decaf coffee or herbal teas. Decaf coffee contains minimal caffeine, making it a gentler option for those sensitive to stimulants. Herbal teas, such as chamomile or peppermint, offer a comforting and caffeine-free alternative for your morning pick-me-up. By tuning into your body signals and making mindful adjustments to your coffee routine, you can strike a balance that allows you to enjoy this beloved beverage without compromising your digestive well-being. So whether you're sipping on a steaming cup of java or exploring herbal infusions, Find what works best for you and savor every sip with intention and enjoyment. 12. Chocolate, the sweet temptation and potential digestive test chocolate, especially dark chocolate with a high cocoa content, is a delightful treat. However, it can pose a potential digestive challenge after gallbladder removal for a couple of reasons. The fat factor, while the fat content in chocolate is generally lower than in some other foods, it can still contribute to digestive difficulties if not consumed in moderation, especially for those already struggling with fat digestion. The irritability factor, some people experience digestive irritation from the natural compounds found in chocolate, such as cocoa, which can lead to gas and bloating. These can be uncomfortable side effects for some individuals, especially after gallbladder removal. Diarrhea. In some cases, chocolate might trigger diarrhea due to its laxative effect. Indulging in chocolate can be a delightful experience, especially when approached mindfully. The good news is that you might still be able to savor this decadent treat in moderation. Here are some tips to help you enjoy chocolate in a way that aligns with your wellness goals. Start small. If you're reintroducing chocolate into your diet or trying a new type, it's wise to start small. Pay attention to how your body responds and gradually increase your intake if it agrees with you. Choose wisely when selecting Hakulate, opt for dark varieties with a higher cocoa content, ideally over 70%. Dark chocolate tends to have less sugar and fat compared to milk or white chocolate. Plus, higher cocoa content means more antioxidants and potential health benefits. Pair it with food, consider pairing your chocolate indulgence with a balanced meal or snack. Additionally, pairing chocolate with foods rich in fiber or protein can enhance satiety and promote better digestion. By following these mindful tips, you can savor chocolate as part of a balanced lifestyle, reaping its delicious flavors and potential health benefits while keeping your well-being in mind. So go ahead, treat yourself to a piece of dark chocolate and relish every blissful bite. This list is a general guideline. The best approach is to listen to your body and identify foods that trigger discomfort. They can help you create a well-balanced and gut-friendly meal plan that supports your recovery and long-term digestive health. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness.
Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.